Hello everyone, Buzzkiller here, and welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a look at a game I've been playing on and off for a long time, and that's MechWarrior Online. Now if you don't know anything about the MechWarrior universe, it actually started back in the 80s as a tabletop game, kind of like uh, Warhammer. And it kind of uh, it went through several iterations. Microsoft owned the rights for a long time. They made several MechWarrior games. MechWarrior 1, 2, 3. I think it was MicroProse, actually. And then Microsoft took it over under the FASA name. Um, of course, I could be wrong. I'm just going off my limited memory here. But, uh, yeah, this is a game similar to World of Tanks or World of Warships, or, you know, stuff like that. Uh, those type of free-to-play, build your your fleet, and build your, well, your vehicles up. In this case, you're doing it with mechs. And mechs, of course, range in different sizes from your light mechs. Let me go into my mech selection. Everything from the little 20-ton mechs all the way up to the big behemoths like the Atlas here. And uh, again, I played this back when it was in early access, and I stopped playing, I want to say, early, mid-2014. And I just now came back to it. I've rediscovered it. They've made a lot of changes, uh, a lot of good changes, a lot of new mechs. Mechs are constantly being added. So most of my stuff in my inventory is older mechs. I have a few semi-new mechs, well, new to me, but probably came out a year ago. This uh, King Crab is one of them. Now, this was given to me as a free mech. Uh, as a, I think it's like a lifetime membership thing or something like that. Founder's mech, or I I'm not sure. I'm still learning all the, the terms and all the changes they've made, but... The first little clip I posted was actually of this mech. I had three small cannons on each arm set up to chain fire in a rapid sequence. And it's a funny build. It's, it's a fun build, but it's not a very effective build. But yeah, the whole premise is, like World of Tanks, you buy your... This is basically a tank. You buy your walking tank, your stompy tank, as some people call them, and you upgrade them. So we do that through the mech lab. It has a very simple, easy-to-use interface. It uses basically a big rag doll. Here's your left arm, right arm, your torso is your head, your center torso, and your legs. You can set how much armor is on each piece. Some pieces, like the torsos, have front and back armor that you have to add. Um, you've got different weapons, ballistic weapons, energy weapons, missiles, and miscellaneous type of other equipment. The AMS is an anti-missile system. Uh, for incoming long-range missiles, shoot some of them down. And of course, your ballistics and your missiles require ammo, which, you're, which you add. And there's different equipment like heat sinks for cooling, um, sensor packages, your main engine. There's just so much going on in this game. Uh, it would take me a long time to explain everything. But I thought we'd start off with a little let's play. I'm going to take, um, let's see, what mech should I take? Let's go with, uh, well, when you're first starting the game, I, the first mech I bought was one of the Ravens. This is a nice little light mech, primarily used for reconnaissance. I have this mech set up as a sniper. It's got a electronic countermeasures package that it jams enemy radar. It's got a nice decent size engine uh, for its size, for its weight, and two large lasers with extended range. Now another thing that's new is modules. You can get modules that add range and cool down for different weapons and different consumables. I don't have most of that stuff unlocked yet because I haven't, again, played since 2013, 14 time frame. So some of those stuff, uh, yeah, I don't have. Also, forgive this video, it's kind of unscripted. It's just like, like I said, just a quick let's play. So let's take the Raven out. I call this one the Crow. Nice black paint job with orange highlights, kind of mimic a crow. And 
we're going to jump into a quick play match. And see what happens. Sometimes it takes a few seconds to find a match. Now, luckily, there's not a lot of light players right now. I could see that when I moused over the quick play. It showed me only 20% of people are playing lights as opposed to uh, 30, 40, and 50% playing the others. Well, you know what I mean. That, that number's not correct, but... <laughs> I'm just screwing this all up, but oh well. We'll have fun. I may end up cutting this out. Anyway, because it's taking a while. Okay, here we go. We've got our map selection screen. We get to vote on what map we want. Let's try... you got hot maps, you've got cold maps. These are kind of medium max maps. I'll go with Forest Colony and Assault, which is basically team on team. And it looks like we're, we are playing Assault, but we're playing on a different map. Now Assault is, again, team on team, where your each team has a base and the object is to either destroy all the other mechs or capture the opposing base. Now as a light mech, it's my job to go out and scout. If there's any missile mechs, I'll be spotting for them. And I also have two ER large lasers, which I can snipe and, and do support, basically. It's not a, a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage for a mech of the size, but it's not a lot of damage when compared to some of the heavier mechs. Okay, we're going to ready up. And just wait for everyone else to prepare. Now here's me. My, my in-game name is Durant. It's an older name. Uh, I kind of named it after the Black Hawk pilot from Black Hawk Down. And I am... My organization, Tactical Advance, does play this game with me from time to time. So we have our own little unit. Sometimes it takes a while for everyone to ready up, but it's only about five seconds before we start anyway. I may have caught the uh, temperature on the bottom right. There's a short, small map. Ambient temperature affects how much heat you build up. Got my little hula girl down there. Alright, let's see where we're at. Looks like we're on the right flank, so let's kind of move to the center here. Now you can go into a third person camera, but it's really not that effective. Again, I don't want to go too fast, because if I get too far ahead of my line, I can be easily taken out. Though my electronic countermeasures package is set to disrupt, so I can block most radar contacts. So missiles, I, I probably don't have to worry too much unless I get tagged with a tag laser. Target There's our first acquired. enemy. Looks like another raven. Let me just tell these guys. Looks like the Hill F6 E6. I saw at least one Raven scout. Let's go ahead and move up. Someone's shooting at me. Yeah, they've got countermeasures too, because I can't target them. New target acquired. Oh, there we go. I get points for being the first one to target something, thus the scouting roll. See, I took a little bit of damage there, not too bad. Uh-oh. That's a big boy. We don't want to tangle with him. He might be set up for short range, though, so we'll see what he's... I need an advanced zoom system on this mech. 
Now, if you look down at the mini map, you can see my guys are slowly starting to make it up here. Gotta pay attention to where I'm going. Uh-oh. Yeah, that atlas looks like an atlas. Dang it. I'm not in a good position here. Let's pull back a little bit. Wish I could get a bead on him and find out what he has. New target acquired. Although he's pretty much staying covered, so he's probably a short-range mech. New target acquired. Let me see what you got. Come on. New target acquired. All right, it took a bit of damage on my front left torso there. I need to watch it. Okay, he's got some pulse lasers. Those aren't too long range. We got a friendly that decided to <laughs> jump the gun there. Better run. Looks like he's dead. New target acquired. I'm still learning all the new mechs. New There's an acquired. old catapult. I have one of those. But all the designations for the mechs are new, so I'm still learning what's what. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Friendly fire. New target acquired. There's a enemy light down there. Looks like that crow again, or raven, went running past. Target acquired. Yeah, he doesn't have much range. I could sit here for all day and plank at him. He probably couldn't do too much damage to me. But then again, I'm not doing too much damage to him because he's a he's an assault mech. He's one of the big guys. New target acquired. He, however, has some reach. Gotta watch it. Let's go see what's going on with the rest of the team over here. Ah, let's do a little light on light chase down here. Although he's he's a smaller mech, he's a little bit faster than me. I'm not a very good light mech pilot. It takes a lot of coordination. New Let's see what we have over here. Another light mech, a Jinner. He's hurting pretty bad. So he'll probably be down pretty quick. Just in case. Let's see if we can't get a couple shots off on him. Don't want to go too far, though. New target acquired. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Hey, I got a kill. Of course, he was just standing still, not paying attention. Target acquired. 
Oh, he's got some light range. New target acquired. Oh, that's a big guy. What's he? Highlander. <laughs> New target acquired. There's another catapult. Ooh, that was close. I should get a target on him so I can see what he what his right torso Ooh, critical damage. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Our right torso is where our, all our weapons are. Our right arm, actually. So if our right torso goes, our, our weapons go. Let's see if we can flank around a bit. Target acquired. Base is being captured. Uh oh. Now I could go in here. As soon as I go in here, they're gonna swarm me. Enemy base is being captured. Target acquired. There's that Highlander. He is short range, so I'd want to stay far away from him. that way. This is a long match. Pretty even. Uh, we've got some support now, so let's take down this Highlander. His back's tore up. If I can get behind him, I can do some good damage. Target destroyed. Okay, New here comes the rest of the team. Acquired. Better book it. New target acquired. Go support the main force. I think we did our job by distracting half of them. Getting them to come back to their base. Go support the main push back here. New target acquired. <laughs> He doesn't know I'm here yet. Oh, now he sees me. Or at least he realizes I'm here. Cut one of his arms. Base is being captured. New target You're just going to stand there. I'll take your legs out. Critical damage. Oh shoot. Base is being captured. They've taken most of our team out, I didn't even realize. Ooh, big guy. Don't want to be in front of him. Don't want to be in front of him. <laughs> oh shit. Go, go, go. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Is being Lag. <laughs> Well, there you go. There's a typical gameplay for a light mech in MechWarrior. We didn't win, but there was no communication on our team whatsoever. I was the only one talking.
But yeah. That's MechWarrior Online for you. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be making a few more of these every now and then. I'll try out some gameplay on different types of mechs from the mediums, heavies, and the assault. So look forward to those. Uh, next video is probably going to be on Star Citizen because it looks like we're getting really, really close to 2.4 release. So until next time, this has been Guz Buzzkiller. Wow, I can't even say my own name. And I'll see you guys in the verse.